Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. And I'm Jane. And we are the Boss Stitchers. Today is Sunday, November 1st, and this is episode number seven. Welcome to our channel. If you're a, a new subscriber, we're, we're glad to have you. And uh, if you're just visiting us again, we're glad you're back. Um, so uh, we're going to get right into it because um, we have uh, some whips and some finishes and an obscene amount of haul. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Chris, um, I think it's your turn to throw out the first stitch. Okay, Jane. Let's go. So this is a familiar one to you return viewers. I finally got a little bit more in on Santa, and I'm sorry for the uh, straggling thread over here. Um, all that I've really done since last time is to get the gold work in at the top here. And I'm almost finished with that and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> and luckily there isn't too much more of that. There is some of this along the uh, stole that Santa's wearing, and that's it for that. Um, I, as I showed last time, I bought a few options of DMC gold thread to work on this. Um, happy enough with the color, but not all that happy with the quality. Jane and I were at our uh, LNS yesterday for a stitch day, and uh, the opinion of the crowd was to go with uh, Krennic. And I will keep that in mind the next time, but I think I can persevere yeah. and get this through. And it's going to look nice. That's my only whip. It's going to look nice. Well, let's hope. <laughs> How about you? So I oh. am continuing to work on uh, Coming to America. Everyone has seen this by now multiple times. This is a beauty. Um, and I started Need in... Need uh, Yeah, it's right. Oops. It's right here. Tiger knocked it down. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I, I started in the middle and worked down. So... Wow. I still have uh, the top block to do, but um, That's just and gorgeous. I'm currently working on the top. Here are the um, middle blocks. Here are the names. Um, and uh, so there's just so many people working on this, and so many people have great ideas and, and different fabrics and um, colors. Um, yeah. This is on uh, 36 count Nantucket Eve by Seraphim Fabrics. I'm using all the called for except for the blue which is called um, Deep Sea from Weeks Dye Works. I changed out um, the blue that came with the kit. Um, there are like I said so many people that are, are working on this and all, they all just look just great. It's a it's an awesome awesome chart. And you're well on your way to meeting a deadline on this, aren't you? I hope so. I think it's, uh, so November 11th, I'd like to be done. I have a few more elements down here. There's a flag, and I got some backstitch to do, but it's it's pretty well pretty well on its way. I'm hoping to have this done by the 11th. <laughs> so I, uh, I need to work on this quite a bit. So. Well, my money's on you. That really <laughs> is lovely. Uh, the... My other whip is, um, this is uh, Pilgrim Fathers, sailing from Delft Shaven. And this is a Thistles design. So this is the, the Pilgrims leaving for their voyage. And this I did not do very much at all on. I did a little bit because, um, what was I doing? I think it was at work. I, I, I brought it to work one day just to work... Uh, just to have something to do um, during lunch. So I brought this, but I didn't get much done really at all. Um, and this is uh, actually on 32 count, touch of blue linen is 32 count. So working on that, I, yes. I really wanted to get this done by the 11th too. 
I'm not so sure now, but we'll, I'm going to keep trying. And then um, Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world, uh, is uh, sponsoring a sale for the winter. Um, and it is, uh, let's see, I think it's called uh, Snow Day Sal. Mm. And so we had our first snowstorm <laughs> here in the Boston area. We sure did. Mm. Came in a big way. Yeah, I, I thought, I, I went out, for, uh, it happened on Friday. I went out in the morning, um, was going to work. It was... Yeah, it was snowy, yeah. but I thought, yeah. this is going to be nothing, right. so just went to work. I had no boots, no hat, no... <laughs> no, no scraper, no. No, no scraper, <laughs> no gloves, oh, yeah. but, and it snowed all day long. Yeah, so, yeah. How much did you uh, get? Uh, three plus? Three, yeah, probably yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, I had to start my snow day, mm -hmm. Sal, and I decided that I was going to do Button Up by the Prairie Schooler. That's a really cute design. So I've been wanting to start this for a while. And um, I got very, very little done, which is, it's kind of embarrassing to even show, but- It's because you were a busy show one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I started in the middle. And um, this is, uh, I'm, I'm doing this on 32 count uh, white Lugana. It's, um, uh, using DMC. Uh, one thing that I wanted to let the viewers know is that I have the um, paper copy mm. and the stitch count on this says that it's uh, 153 high by 70 wide. Now if you look at this picture you can clearly see that it's <laughs> square. So the stitch count is wrong on the paper chart. Oh. Um, so for if you if you do ornaments, the stitch count is right. But if you're doing that all in one big sampler, the stitch count is wrong. So just don't uh, believe yeah, everything you so, read. <laughs> exactly. So just be careful. Wow. So good catch there. Yeah. I love so many of those individual motifs in there. I do well, too. The kid yeah. making the snow angel. Yeah, I do too. That's just adorable. Yeah. Well, I love that design, Jane, but I wouldn't be sad if you don't have too many snow days <laughs> this year to right. work on. To work on it, yeah. Well, if I do have snow days, though, then that might make me it make me happy. That's true. Because I that's will true. get to work yeah. on something. Yeah. So I think that that's a, a genius <laughs> idea, yes. A good way to have a positive. And I bet Kansas City Girl has a lot of opportunities in Colorado to yeah. work on that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, so that does it for whips. Oh, all right. I guess we'll move into... Do you have any finishes? I have an F.O. Okay. And I think I'll need your help with this one. Yeah. This is not a stitch F.O. per se, but you've seen this once before, I believe. When it, I think it was halfway done last time. Yeah. And I did get a latch hook finish. This is home for the holidays. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let me hold let me. Okay. Here we go. Home Ooh, for the holidays. So look at that. Uh, hopefully that will be an FFO soon. I just need to do the binding on it. Which I again I've said I don't really enjoy doing, but it is certainly possible. So I'm gonna try to get that one finished up. That looks so awesome. <laughs> Well, that's an it's easy really one to work on when your eyes aren't quite up to cross stitch. Yeah. It looks great. Thanks. It's really great. All right. And you as I said, if you're looking for a, if you're looking for a place for it, <laughs> my birthday's in eleven months. So. All right. Duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> you may see that up right behind us in the wall. Oh, that would be like, great for Christmas. Yeah, yeah that would be great. So that's it for me. Um, shall we move on to FFOs for you? Yes. Okay. So I have three that I got back from my finisher. And these are the last of the Seaside series that I finished. Uh, this is um, ser uh, number five. And it is the seagull and the conch shell. Oh, wow. 
And so here's my little that seagull. Is adorable. And what do I say the, every time? Might be my favorite. Yeah. And a little uh, shark fabric on the back. So that that's is that. Great. And then the conch shell. Very which nice. Which I think is very pretty. And this nice fabric on the back. And Once I love again, this chenille. Nice work by. Yes, Janet, thank finisher. you, my finisher. Like the sequins yeah. and. And then I had another. Um, I've had this finished for a very long time. This is a, a an old chart. Uh, well, it's to, yeah, copyright 2001. It's from Angel Stitchin' and it's called Crash. That is adorable. I'll show you. I'll pitch it a little bit closer. And so I have had this. This I actually stitched in 2007. And it's just been sitting around for a long, long time. And, sitting around for Janet um, to yep, discover just, just, finish. Just waiting to be finished. That is beautiful. Um, and the broom came with that, huh? Yep, the, the little broom came with it. Um, the stockings I stitched, the orange part of the stockings is uh, glow-in-the-dark oh, bread. that's great. And Janet put on this cute little cat. Oh. So, um, and then the back fabric is really cool. Just perfect. Yeah. So, very nice. I'm that very happy with great. that. I had this in plenty of time to enjoy for Halloween. Yeah. So, that is lovely. Um, Good job. So I just I also just wanted to mention that um, when Janet was doing the uh, the pillows, she watched uh, Vonna Pfeiffer's mm -hmm. um, tutorials and uh, said that Vonna has changed her life. <laughs> I'm sure Vonna has changed many stitchers and finishers' lives, but uh, she yeah. So she pro. she took a lot of inspiration from from Vonna. So. And I'm glad for that because they came out beautifully. <laughs> You're the happy recipient yeah, they of came that. out beautifully. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah. Um, so uh, should we get into haul? Okay. All right. Do you want to well, go mine first? Mine is rather modest, so I'll begin. <laughs> so last time, I had showed um, Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower, and I'm now on to the collecting of uh, needed supplies. I do have um, the uh, called for fabric. I well, I think it's it's shale linen by Picture This Plus. I think I actually got twenty eight count, um, but the shale by Picture This Plus, and I'm think I've been waiting for a while, and I think I'll be waiting a while longer for that to come in. But I was able to get most of the threads. Um, a one, two, three. Okay. Um, and yeah, really, really pretty color palette. So not sure when I'll start that, but I am um, looking forward to that. And the only other couple of things that I had was last time I showed um, um, this in my defense and by my big toe designs. And I wanted, I'm going to do the dog version. Maybe he'll make an appearance today, actually. But um, so I'm going to do the, sorry, I should have taken that out of the plastic, but I'm going to do that bottom one, the one that's not as frilly, but substitute the paws in. And I had been says, waiting for In the, my defense, I was left yeah. unsupervised. <laughs> and that is very apropos <laughs> in our household. And uh, I've been waiting for this um, um, called for the, uh, this, Velour linen to come in, um, which I got from its picture. This plus, and that came from one, two, three. I really love that. That it's pretty it's showing up really clean. nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so speaking, and then, speaking of unsupervised, <laughs> uh, so of course you know we we've been eating all our Halloween candy because um, don't get that many kids. Yeah, yeah, so. Exactly, and um, I was sitting. Uh, the other night stitching and um my husband brought me in a, a Reese's peanut butter cup so I had that and then uh I put the 
the wrapper <laughs> on the uh, side table and went up, you know, after it was time, you know, to go to bed, went up, got ready for bed. And then I thought, oh, you know what? I forgot that wrapper <laughs> on the end table. I better go down and throw it away. I have two beagles. <laughs> By the time I got down there, uh, it was too Not late. A trace. It, it was too late. Yeah, <laughs> the inside brown wrapper was gone, and the the other the other wrapper was like all shredded. So uh, yeah, so I I was I was they too late. So too. after you stitch that, I need all to right. stitch that. All right. Okay, I am so. passing that one along. <laughs> Um, the only other thing I got was this 25 count picture this plus, um, I think it's picture this plus, no, I'm not sure, uh, Stormy Linen, Stormy Night Lugana, sorry, and uh, I think that's pretty true to shade there, and I, I'm not even sure what I bought this for because I've had this in mind for so many like things. That. Yeah, it's just sort of a nice, lightly modeled um, mm -hmm. gray. gray. Yeah. 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 Thinking of maybe for those um, Portuguese fish patent that oh, yeah. you gifted mm -hmm. me that mm -hmm. I've shown before, but yep. I got a load of things from it. Yep. I'll be doing stitchy. Kindness or it? Yeah, yeah right, I think we okay. do it for all stitchy kindness. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it all together. All right, so we just have a little stitchy kindness. As Jane and I said, we were at our LNS yesterday, and Karen, one of the regulars, was doing a little um, informal de stashing. So I picked up one of her um, Pine Mountain pillows. As Jane knows, mm -hmm. I've done a ton of pine mountains over the year I go yeah. crazy for those sometimes so I thought this might come in handy and then just a whole bunch of different fabrics. very very fabrics um basically linens mm -hmm. in a whole some neutrals pinks some a maroon a blue that um just seem like those might be nice to have on hand for um Christmas ornaments, maybe maybe a little bit Halloween yeah. ornaments could go in there too. And um, last but not least, for on Stitchy Kindness, another big shout out to Diane, who had gave us the ravens for the last time mm -hmm. and did this lovely little quilted uh, pumpkin for the season. So a big shout out to her and her talented fingers there. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. When are we going to get you into cross stitch? Yeah, I think that's <laughs> next. <laughs> so that's it for me. All right. Um, so I have a, well, quite a few things. Um, I'll try to go through some of this uh, rather quickly. Uh, I uh, won um, a chart from uh, Michelle McGraw. She is uh, made by Michelle McGraw on Floss Tube. Um, she sent me this very cute that card, is very cute. and I won um, the Plymouth Sampler um, from the Sampler Company, um, and the designer is uh, Brenda Keys. Yeah, try to get lovely. the little glare off of it. But uh, yes, I'm very, what very good thankful. Good a very, very generous. Prize. Yes, very yeah. generous, Michelle. So thank you so much. I I really appreciate it. I'm. Um, I have quite a few uh, pilgrim. Yes, slash, you do. Uh, this is a very yeah. time. So yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm a little pilgrimed out right now, <laughs> but this is definitely going to be stitched because I think it's really pretty, and uh, maybe maybe this will be a next uh, next Thanksgiving That's right. or next oh, fall. Oh, because you know what? Uh, so I think it was Pam and Steph who said next year is actually the 400th anniversary of the first Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Oh, so you great. Are, okay. You, you are ahead of the game. I am, yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing that I got was um, Julie, Kansas City girl in the Colorado world, has uh, started a, um, a company called uh, Hemlock and Rye, which I think is like one of the best names. <laughs> is, it, it's real. It's, it's a great name. And... So I got, I purchased her um, Samhain in Salem uh, chart. And the reason I like this is because they really look like 
houses in Salem. It really does. They're, yeah. yeah, I mean, they're, they're just perfect. She did her research. Yeah, and, and they're just, they're just really pretty. Um, so you could, you can, um, purchase her, uh, well, you can, you can get her charts from, um, gumroad.com. So gumroad.com slash hemlock and rye stitchery, I believe. Um, so she's um, very generous and is, is offering them on that site where you can um, download them for free or you can um, pay for them. So, um, but go and check them out. They're very well done. They come in color, they come in black and white. They're very easy to read, so they're, they're very nice. Um, so that one will be getting stitched. Uh, also on that, it, the, um, it, the, it also comes with other wording. So you can put, instead of Samhain in Salem, it, you could put Halloween in Salem. So it's nice. Very nice. Uh, this one I got from the whole stitch and caboodle um, from Facebook. She had this chart up and I just thought that this was adorable. It is so adorable. It's called uh, Witches Make Stitches. <laughs> it's a little witch sitting there by the fireplace stitching with her little cat. So I like that. That will be a quick one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then um, she also sent a um, a freebie chart from the Cricut collection. It's snowy owl. It's a little mm -hmm. owl with a, um, on an acorn. That's so cool. that was a nice little um, addition. Uh, this morning, I got an email from Autumn Lane Stitchery, and part three of Dark Queen of the Seas mm -hmm. is out. Hot off so, the press. Hot off the press. So Ooh. this is uh, this is what what it looks like so far. The first. Um, First part was the fish. Second part was this uh, her like hips and um, bodice. Um, then the now the third part is the top here with the arms. There are two versions of this, so you can print out the um, the standard version, which mm -hmm. is this one, and then there's also uh, an explicit version <laughs> where. I, Something for everyone. I, <laughs> I, I think the sharks got a hold of her, her, uh, her the top there because uh, you can so you can print out you can do the explicit version also. But this is the standard version, which is probably the one that I will do. Um, that sounds safe. Yeah, uh, I have not started this because I did um, end up ordering the fabric oh, okay. from Under the Sea Fabrics. All right, and I'm, you were um, considering um, that other pretty one you got right but right that, that sounds yeah like I just decided that I would go with the called for yeah. so I did order it and I'm just waiting for it yeah so uh, gorgeous colors in that um so yesterday at our mm -hmm. LNS um I also got some uh stitchy kindness from Karen um, I got a couple of these, these little pillows and, and they're actually, um, tooth, uh, they're for the tooth fairy. So they're called tooth fairy pillows. They were, uh, manufactured by old colonial designs exclusively for JBW. Um, so JBW must have a pattern that you can put in here and it's got this little pocket back here, I guess, so you put your tooth and the money in. It so, must mean JBW so, must have one patent you don't have. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so um, actually there are two of these and I, I took both of them. I have a, a great niece who was born on June 2nd and I thought, well, um, I may Better get put, might put a little something in there for them. And I don't know if that shows so, up, but... There's a really pretty sparkle in that. Like it looks like fairy dust, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Let's see if I can get it on the back. Yeah, um, maybe a little. You can see it. But yeah, yeah, that's a, a cute. little bit of sparkle there. Yeah, they are cute. Um, then this was um, this is something that you could stitch, and it has a pocket in it. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll put um, a block. It's almost like you could put a stand in it, like a block. Um, and it's got nice. these very cute little uh, snowmen on it. 
So I'll do something yeah. with that. I bet you have a Christmas pattern or two that could probably. Fit in that. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I'll, or else I'll have to buy some. About right, right. <laughs> And then I got a um, a nice blue uh, linen. I'm not sure what count it is. Probably it looks like maybe thirty six. Yeah, yeah that'd yeah. be my guess. But um, I'm always looking for blue fabric. Yeah, so that I thought that was nice good. good size. Yeah, yeah, it's a big piece. And then finally, this is a a nineteen count cream. It's a Zweigart, um, but uh, yeah. So I'm th I'm gonna be able to do something oh, with this yeah. too. Yeah. So, thank you, Karen. That was that was very generous. And Chris and I not only got things, but there were like eight of us yeah. there. I think everybody got something. No one so left empty-handed. Right. So it was very generous. Um, and so I, I've talked a little bit before, I think, about um, our LNS, which is the World in Stitches in, in Littleton, Mass. And um, Randy, the owner, has a lot of charts, mm -hmm. and um, she has some um, older charts, some vintage charts, which, which I just love, you know, looking through. So yesterday while I was there, I probably only put in about <laughs> 50 stitches. I think so. You were and, busy. And, and then I went through, uh, like, all of her boxes, and... Um, I actually, uh, I actually helped her organize oh, yes. some of it and put everything together. Is Tiger gonna make a vid? Tiger's uh, gonna, uh, gonna make, make an his, appearance. Well, can he his, put his head up? Enough his to his show? floss tube debut. Yeah. You gonna make a floss can tube you debut? Can say hello? A little bit. You're, You're not good usually boy. that shy, Tiger. You're a good boy. Yeah. Tiger can be a little wild at times, but um, <laughs> well, for one thing. Jane treats him right by always coming prepared <laughs> with her dog's treats. And um, Tiger is pretty content. Mm -hmm. He can be with us just to sit here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's hope that continues. Yes. Tiger is a chug. Yeah. He's a pug a chihuahua. Pug, yeah. so. I always say I don't know if it's by accident or design. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good boy. He's an old man at 13 now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Still pretty yeah. spry though. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So, um, so I'm gonna go quickly through this haul because uh, <laughs> so I was going through all, you know all like I said all of her um, her older things and putting stuff aside in a box and and then I had to have Chris come over and we went through everything. Um, I just sort of had. Um, a little bit of oversight in yeah. case she was going a little too crazy. But yeah. I think I pretty much approved this time. You approved pretty much. Yeah. yeah. You approved really everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So. It was pretty lenient. So we'll go through these really quickly. And some of these are, are older that, and some of these things I've never seen before. Um, I, I am not going to put all of this haul um, this particular haul in the description <laughs> box below. If there's something that you see that you are really interested in and you want more detail, I'll be happy to give it to you. Just um, you know, send send me an email. Um, this is a gold collection petite. This is inviting uh, holiday wreath, and this is from uh, 2000. And then this one I do not see often. Those I've never seen this no. one. So yeah. Uh, this is, who is this? <laughs> this is, I was the one was, it's Obsessions? To, uh, anyway, it's a, a cute little, uh, Santa with his, um, naughty and nice <laughs> list. That is a, a cute one, those naughty and nice lists. These are two Lizzie Kate, uh, special edition kits. Uh, this is Meowy Christmas. Comes with the fabric and um, the um, Krynik. And then this is Happy Holidays. So we got the dog and the cat. And this comes with the green fabric. Uh, this is not really my aesthetic, but I don't know why I like it, but I do. It's called Weeping Tree Sampler. It's from the City Stitcher in Dayton, Ohio. Which, if we were going to um, guess, probably does not exist anymore. No, probably think? not. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So that's a a pretty a pretty little pattern. Yeah. It says here, my work forever stands, the labor of two busy hands. 
I had to get this because this oh. is Nosset Light. Oh, yeah. In um, East Ham, Massachusetts. Good landmark. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's, let's do... This is... Now, this is a very old... Um, it, you older stitchers will remember that there was a craze at one time <laughs> to do bows. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, I never did one, but I saw Neither them. I. I saw them all the time. But... Um, <laughs> But I saw this, and um, it's a very cute Halloween pattern, and I and it comes with the um, like the banding, and it, so it's a kid. It comes with the fabric, um, it comes with the banding, and it comes with the, the threads. But I thought, well, it would, you know, I'll never do this bow, but it would be very cute just to do these two, um, uh, you know, long right. patterns, yeah, and then do them separately. So anyway, so I got that. Yeah. This is a cute pattern. Um, these two are... That a, was your best find, Jane. Yeah, so these two are a Russian designer, and they're beautiful fall patterns. So there's this. They're full coverage. They're full coverage. Yeah, but <laughs> say no more. <laughs> and here but we go. But they are beautiful fall coverage. Full yeah, full coverage. Yeah, Madeira. It says is the uh, embroidery thread. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then she had a bunch of um, Charles Wysocki. So this is called My Hometown, and this is book number one. That's another great find. Yeah. And then she had book number two, which is called Town and Country. And I have book three already, which oh. is called Cape Cod Summer. Oh, okay. Book four is called Harvest Blessings, and it's really not one that I would be interested in stitching. But she also had book five, which is The Four Seasons. So, 1985, I see. Yeah, yep, yeah, this one, yeah. going back. Yeah, this yeah. one's 87, so, yeah. Um, so this is a, a Looney Tunes book, um, that, and I, I have a bunch of these, I just, I think they're cute, and, um, uh, I buy these because of Sylvester the cat, uh, my last name is Sylvester, so <laughs> we, um, yeah, so I, I, I have a bunch of those. That up. yeah. Now this one is very very silly, and <laughs> <laughs> I so, let it slip through. Yeah. So I do kind of like weird, you know, oddball weird charts, and um, this was this was two dollars, and I would say that that we have we had more laughs yeah, on, was, for this, so it was you, well worth you got the, your it, money. It was well it. worth yeah. the two dollars because it's that just hysterical. The back is even more of a classic. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so it comes with three charts. It comes with the birthday party here on the front, and then it comes with the two, the the mouse, with the um, wedding dress, and the mouse with the the babies. <laughs> So. Hard to believe someone hadn't, you know, or picked a rabbit that up with the before babies. you. No, I guess, but... is that a rabbit or a mouse? I don't know what that is. I think I think it's the cat with two little mouse babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds dangerous. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I so that was just funny, so I got, I got it. Uh, yeah. This one, um, this is, a, is an old... Uh, Linen Quarterly, designs by Gloria and Pat, winter 1989. This is really basically the only chart that's in there, to be honest <laughs> with you. Um, so that's what it looks like. And it says, out of the dead of winter comes the gift of life, the hope of, a of the ages, the birth of our Savior. Um, so I will probably not stitch the words, but I thought, look at those little bunnies. Yeah. They're very cute and, and I thought it would look nice on like a maybe a shiny kind of like an yeah. opalescent fabric. Yeah. So. That would look pretty. Another oldie, um nineteen seventy seven. Again by Gloria and Pat. Yeah. Um, they were busy that decade, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. So uh just just a bunch of like different kinds of uh 
kinds of charts. So, and of course, I really got it for the for the Silent Night one. Right. So yeah, but it's, I like those the the Three Kings there too. So yeah, that's some cute ones there. Um, uh, you I, you I had to get this. this I'm, I'm so. Uh, if you, if I haven't mentioned it before, I'm a Noah's Ark nativity person. So this is a cross stitch and country crafts magazine from January, February, 1987. This is, this was the cover, which caught my eye. So. I wish we could still order all those 324 colors <laughs> of DMC for $25. <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> Let's hold them to that. <laughs> this is Rebecca's creation. This is uh, the twenty third Psalm. I just I liked the um, I like the picture of the sheep in the in the hills there. I don't know what year that is. Um, Chris also approved of this one. <laughs> This is 2001 Santa Ornament. It's called uh, Toy Noah from Homespun Elegance. That is a cute one. Yeah. Yeah. Timeless. Yeah, I like that. Um, I told Chris that I didn't care what she said about this one. Um, I was going to buy it regardless. Uh, this because this is the Prairie Schooler. It's book number thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah. So that's a find. Yeah. Love that partridge. I love the partridge. That one's definitely going to get stitched. Yeah. So. And then another Prairie Schooler. Uh, this is pers the Prairie Schooler Designer Series Home for Christmas. I've never seen this before. But I picked that up. And I like I like that the one here with the sleigh. Yeah. So. And then this one, I don't know why I got this one. Um, but you know, I don't know. The spirit moved me. <laughs> it's I just kinda like these I like these geese walking in front of the in front of the house. This is a um, this is Donna Barton, Watercolors and Counted Cross Stitch. That's a lot of white there, isn't it, Jane? There is a lot of white yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, maybe I put it on white fabric yeah. and, and don't bother <laughs> stitching it. <laughs> actually, that's what, a long actually time. that's what I'm doing for button up. I put that on oh, white that's fabric, great. but I, yeah. I honestly think I'm going to have to stitch on oh, white, yeah. too. Probably. Yeah. yeah. was a good thought, though. Anyway, I think that's really cute. I don't know if I'll ever do it, but I think it's really cute. Uh, this is another one that's, that's you know, pretty, um, uh, let's see, 1987. Reflections of Christmas Past. This is when stamps were 22 cents <laughs> and 15 cents. That puts it in perspective. Huh. But like we were saying yesterday, there is something kind of contemporary about the look, though, with those, too. Mm. Oh, I liked it. This is called Old McMary's. This is a farm scene from the work basket. And it's kind of, this one's gonna be, I think, a little hard to see. But I'll try to, try to get it up a little closer for you. It's cute. It is a pretty design. 2003, so. Mm. I had to get this one because it is New England sampler. And we are the boss stitchers. We are the boss stitchers, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to have a whole New England wallet. At some yeah. Point. Oh, that'd be a great one for it. And then last but not least, this is called Images of a Christmas Memory. This is a a well loved chart. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's pretty beat up. Um but I thought it had some really, um, so this is what it looks like. In fact, I'm not sure if you could even it, show the charts if you wanted to. On <laughs> well, the charts are fine. I mean, the charts are really fine. It's just, yeah. So, um, and this was um, images in fine needlework ink. 
Hmm. From Panama City, Florida. Wow. There are some really cute ornaments and things in there, though. Yeah. Yeah, look at them. Yeah. I like the Santa here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where's that one that you liked? Oh, right at the bottom, that jar. I don't know if you can see that. That snow scene there. That was a really pretty one, too. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you got your money's worth, Jane. So that's what I did yesterday. <laughs> I, I went through a lot of old charts and uh, pulled out pulled out quite a few. Yeah, so it was a full day. I'm gonna, that'll keep me busy for a while. <laughs> Keeps me off the streets. <laughs> well, speaking of which, yeah. any plans? Um, so it is November 1st. I have 11 days to finish coming okay. to America. That's priority one. That's priority one, yes. Um. And then, um, you know, again, if it snows, I'll, yeah. you know, I'll keep You're working on, I'll it. keep working on button up. Mm -hmm. I would also like to see if I can do something about Pilgrim Fathers, but coming to America is, is priority. Yeah, the first yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Well, uh, I seem to say this every week, but I'm going to keep plugging away <laughs> on Santa and I need to get my pomegranate back out. My Mill Hill oh, yeah. kit. Um, I didn't touch that all these past two weeks that latch hook I once again misjudged the time I thought I'd do that in a week and I'd have a full week for stitching mm -hmm. and that didn't happen so I'm going to get back to the pomegranate because that's almost done uh, yeah it is all mm -hmm. I got in the beads on that so yeah I think yeah. that's it and then I have loads of ideas what to move on to once those are done <laughs> <laughs> all right well um again thank you very much for tuning in um uh, uh, things that we spoke about will be in the description box below. As I said, that huge pack of haul that I got from the World in Stitches, um, I will not put in. But if you want, it, if you want uh, any information, you can always email us. So please um, subscribe, like. You, we are also on um, Instagram. You can check us out, um, and we also have email. So. Um, so thank you for tuning in, and until next time, happy stitching. Happy stitching, happy November, and we'll see you again in about two weeks. Exactly. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.